Hi guys, Kurt Provost here, your guide to all things new skin. This episode is super requested. Many of you have been asking me, how do you use the facial spa that is found in the US? So if you're watching this because you have a galvanic face spa or you're interested in the galvanic face spa, then this video is much better for you because that's what's found outside of the US. This is a different device and is just for those in the United States of America. I know it's strange, an Aussie going to be explaining an American device, but that's the world we live in today, and I seem to be the guy for the job. So, let's dive straight into it. It's going to be broken up to, into three parts, roughly. Uh, it's going to be the background story, which I think is kind of important, understanding why it is that there are different devices in the US and outside of the US. And then the next part will be how to use the facial spa. So if you want to skip ahead, there will be timestamps down below. And also the last part is like a little cheat if you just want to, the easiest possible way to get the best possible results, as in my opinion. So let's start with the story. So why is there a different device in the US where the galvanic spa originally originated from? Very good question. It was a very successful device for many, many years. And you may just say it was a touch too successful because uh, what <laughs> one of the great ironies of the beauty industry is that in order to be classed as a cosmetic product, it cannot change the structure of the skin. It can't in effect change your skin in any way which is ironic because we put these creams and, and things on our skin, hoping to change it for the better, right? Well, not according to the FDA. <laughs> so if you are using a cosmetic product, it will not actually be doing anything fundamentally to your skin. That's just the technical definition there. And so the Galvanic Spa was a little too successful at actually changing the structure of your skin. And as such, it uh, was required to go through a new standardization as a, or a new classification as a medical device, a medical grade device. And I don't know the full backstory of why that happened, but it is, it's some suspicious timing because it's right around the time that uh, the Galvanic Spa got taken off the market to go through that very tedious, very lengthy, uh, new classification process that took a number of years to go through. A very similar device with a company that uh, basically copies New Skin's name. It's uh, New something, I'm not going to say their whole name. Anyhow, they came out with this uh, competing device and they captured a large portion of the market. I just think that's a, is that a coincidence? Is that part of this story? I don't know enough to comment too much on it, but it does seem suspicious to me. Nonetheless, the rest of the world were able to continue to use their galvanic spas. And in fact, they've been upgraded and enhanced since that happened. And we continue to have access to this incredible galvanic technology that looks like this. And the facial spa in the US looks like this. I know, pretty similar. <laughs> it's because they're basically identical. It's largely a difference of semantics. So the international one, Galvanic Face Spa, the one in the US is the Facial Spa. And they had to do that in order to get it back onto the marketplace. There's a few minor tweaks in the mechanism of action. So it's slightly different, the process of using your Facial Spa. So how exactly do you do that? I'll go into it right now. First and foremost, it comes with the conductive gel and of course the age lock rejuvenating gel mask. This is the most important part of the entire treatment because this is what is packed full of those age lock anti-aging ingredients that are really gonna have that long-term benefit for your skin. Of course, it comes with two different treatment heads. You've got the main one, you're gonna be using this most of the time. And then you have this smaller spot treatment, which is great for around the eyes, the fine lines. There's also a power mask that you can get that you can apply to this area. That spot treatment is perfect for using with that mask. So how would you change a head? Well, you just click this button on here and it will pop out into your hand. To turn on the device, you simply need to press that button 
and that turns it on, you'll see the numbers light up. The first setting, once you have cleansed your face, that's really important. Make sure your skin is totally clean. The Lumispar is the best device to do that. And then make sure you tone afterwards something like True Face Priming Solution. That is fantastic for those who are looking for that anti-aging effect. Packed full of amino acids in there that'll help build up the structure of the skin. Just a little tip there. So once you have done that, you will take the conductive gel and you'll apply a generous amount on just half your face or you can do your whole face uh, in one session. I like to do one half at a time so it doesn't dry out. And then you will turn the galvanic spa on, or the facial spa on, and you will select number four, which goes for five minutes. That's what those circles there represent is how many minutes the treatment will go for. You want to moisten your hands with some water or use NAPCA moisture mist and hold them at all times on this metal part here. So that is connecting with your skin. It's feeding off our body's own electrical current, which is so cool about this device. And then you hold it to your face and it will beep when it's got the connection and it will continue to beep. I believe it's around 10 to 15, every 10 to 15 seconds, you're gonna hear a beep. And that means it's got the connection. If you don't hear a beep for a long time, you have a look at it and it'll be flashing. That means it's lost the connection. It's trying to regain it. It could be because you haven't been holding it. A lot of people will hold it like this and they're not touching the metal pad or perhaps that it's dried out and there's not enough moisture on the hands or the gel has dried out and it's not conducting well enough. Just fix up those things with adding more gel or moistening your hands, making sure your hands always in place and then you move it in Follow the facial muscles. That's the, the most basic way instruction I can give you is start here, nice, long, smooth, even strokes. You don't need to race. You don't need to press really hard. Just firm on the upward movements and lighter, uh, less pressure on the downward movements. So do about two to three in each spot. I go around the lips, up the nasal fold there, under the cheek if you really want to contour and sculpt the cheek onto the nose there, of course, under the eye, and you can hold it here if you really want to lift up and open the eyes. You can move under and up like that. And then here, don't frown while you're doing it like that. It's going to train the muscles to stay like that. You want this to kind of be like Botox, except without the paralysis. <laughs> you want it to be training your muscles to be neutral and relaxed when you're not using them. So just keep a nice, neutral, relaxed expression and move it up to your hairline from your eyebrows and from the center of your face here. So it will go beep, beep, beep. Once it is completed the five minute treatment, what you then need to do is apply more of the conductive gel. And this time for the second cycle, you will turn it on. And instead of number four, you will do number three. So let's click through to number three, which is also another five minutes and then hold it to the skin and it's got the connection and you start moving up like that. Once that has finished the same cycle of five minutes, then you're able to wash that off. And that is when you apply the rejuvenating age lock gel and you leave it on like a mask because that has all the active ingredients that are getting soaked into the skin because after a, a microcurrent treatment like the facial spa, your skin is wide open and very receptive to whatever you're going to put on it afterwards. So that is why we apply this afterwards and it, let it soak into your skin for a few minutes. You can leave it on as a mask and then wash that off. All right, guys, it's time for that tip that I mentioned at the very beginning. And that is, of course, can you use the US Facial Spa with the normal galvanic spa gels that the rest of the world uses? And after reviewing the technical information on the Facial Spa, I personally can't see any reason why not. So if you want the fastest, easiest, simplest way of getting fantastic results with your Facial Spa, I would simply use it with the galvanic age lock facial gels. How to use that? Well, you can see it in this video here, or you can read the back of the box 
that they come in because it tells you exactly how to do that. My name is Kurt Provost, your guide to all things new skin. I hope you found this useful. If you did and if you would like to know of a free way to support the channel, then simply like this video, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notifications bell so that you'll get notified the next time I create a video packed full of useful information like this one. And of course, if you want to get access to your very own facial spa and provide yourself with salon quality treatments a few times a week at a fraction of the cost, then send me a message for something specific or take advantage of one of the great deals that I have down below. All right, guys, that's it for this week. I will see you in the next video. Ciao.